Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you what this YesWelder YWM211P can do. There are a lot of features packed into this machine and it really comes in handy. So let's go over the machine real quick. This YesWelder YWM211P is a multi-process machine that with its pulse and double pulse features is well suited for aluminum welding especially if you get that optional spool gun. It has a unique single pulse and double pulse mode that really adds to the aluminum welding experience. What the single pulse setting does is it still uses the DC current, but it has a primary current and a background current, and the machine switches between them as much as 400 times a second depending on your inputs. The double pulse feature adds another layer to that. It's very similar to what a TIG pulse does. It'll increase and decrease the total heat input at an interval that you choose. Let's do some welding and I'll show you what I mean. So this Yes Welder has what is called a Synergic setting. What a Synergic is, is basically a smart setting. Here, I'll show you. To turn Synergic on, we first have to hit this menu button here and turn this dial all the way to where it says Syn. And right now, Synergic is off. So we're gonna take this right dial and turn it on let it go and it changes. You see how the number changes down at the bottom here? That number is your amperage. Before on the manual setting that you saw before that was the wire speed. So every time we change this it'll automatically change the amperage and with that the wire speed will also change automatically based on your settings all through here. So here right now we're on 035 wire, which I have in this machine. And it's right here, you see how it says FE mix with a line with the light underneath of it. That's for welding steel with a mixed gas, which I have 7525 argon CO2 hooked up right now. We can also set what some people call a trim, so I can adjust what is the arc length when I'm welding. So if I want to tighten the arc up a little bit, I can set it to a negative number, we'll say minus 2.0, and there, it changes the voltage automatically, and it also adjusts the wire speed according while you're welding. So I'll set it to plus, we'll say in this case, plus 2.0, and see how it changes the voltage? That'll change your arc length. Now if you ever want to save any of these settings, so if I want to save this setting, the only thing, all I have to do is go into here, it says load, hit the button again, it says save, and pick a channel. So we'll save it to channel 5. And hold it down. So now if I want to recall that setting, say I was doing something else and change the settings, and if I want to recall that because I'm working on something where I need that setting. Go over to this button, change the right dial over to the channel, bam, it loads it right back up. We'll go over to the machine, like I showed you before. Hit this button to show load, and I saved it to channel three. And see how it changes everything? These are all the settings that I had before for now. We're going to turn the double pulse off, and we'll turn it back on in a minute. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to use this spot timer. Go over the spot, do half a second, just attack it to the table. We'll turn that spot timer off. All right, let's get started. It is just the most unique sound I've ever heard. Let's try again. Turn that down too.
And after a little bit of practice, I actually finally got a decent weld down. Take a look. It almost sounds like you're running AC current on a TIG, like you're welding aluminum, but you're not. It's still DC current. That was single pulse. We're going to come over here and switch right over to double pulse. And then I have to go in and make sure that my numbers are set the way I like them. We'll go there. Try that first. And then we'll go uh two five. You can hear it contacting the puddle a little bit. So I'm actually going to turn my background current up just a little bit. We even turn this up a little bit. Ooh. All right, now you got to see what that looks like. We're going to hook up the spool gun. This is a spool gun. This is what we use to weld aluminum wire. This makes it a lot easier to weld aluminum. The MIG gun does come with a graphene liner that you can use for welding aluminum. You can put the aluminum in the machine and run it through the graphene liner. But we're not going to do that. We're going to use a spool gun today. So I'm going to show you how to hook that up and then we'll get started and we get to see how this machine really shines. Hooking up the spool gun is actually very simple. All we have to do is plug it in to where the MIG gun went and tighten the nut up. And it's in there. And we also have to tighten this up. This is for the trigger control. And there's a little port down in here that we just line up and then we tighten that up. There we go. And it'll operate just like the standard MIG gun will. So let's fire this baby up. Now the other thing we need to do is come over here to this menu selection. We have to select aluminum here, which is, in this case, I'm using 4043, which is a silicone alloy of aluminum. So ALSI at the top. And then I am using 035 wire, which is selected. Use that torch setting. Synergics on, pulse is on. Okay, and we should be all set to start welding. One more thing we have to do, don't forget when you're using the spool gun, hit this toggle switch, which is inside where the spool is for the machine. I got a select spool right there. All right, we're all set to weld now. We have our 4043 filler wire. I have a piece of 6061 aluminum, eighth inch plate that we're going to weld on to practice. The most important thing about aluminum welding is you got to make sure that these pieces are clean, as clean as you can get them. Brush off the mill scale if there is any, brush off any oxidization. Use some aluminum cleaner. Make sure you don't use anything that has chlorine in it because if that turns into a gas, it's toxic. So anything that doesn't have chlorine in it, anything that doesn't create a film. So I brush this down. I clean this up with some aluminum cleaner. We should be good to go. So let's see how we do. All right, so we're going to do single pulse first. I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so the puddle's getting a little hot, so we're going to let it calm down, but I'm going to show you what that looks like. It makes it, it does make it about 10 times better. So 
So I'm actually going to turn the pulse setting off and just go to standard MIG and we're going to compare. You see all the black soot? That's actually dirt coming out of the aluminum. With the pulse setting, what the pulse setting aids in is not only keeping the heat out of the workpiece so you don't have this weld that looks like everything's smushed together, but you also get the benefits what TIG welding in AC for aluminum does. When you weld with AC, it breaks up the oxidization and the dirt that is on top of the aluminum since aluminum is so finicky to deal with. With this pulse setting, it acts like that while still using DC current. So I'm going to go ahead and turn... I'm going to go back to our pulse setting, turn our double pulse on. I think that makes it pretty clear. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Remember, once you get these pulse settings set up right to your liking, it can really make your welds look nice and pretty and clean. So. For now, I'll see you all later. I'm going to go back to welding.